I'm live, guys. Now, I am, I'm going to apologize to uh, Mike Vance and some of the other buddies that I notify when I go do one of these things. But my plan is to go live for about an hour today and start this as sort of a sort of a routine. What's that in the backdrop? Oh, okay. So I wanted to show you guys a couple of things that either I've reviewed recently or will be reviewing soon. And I wanted to just kick it a little bit on a Friday. So what's up, butter? How are you? So this is a new thing. Um, Gillette has released, I believe. Now, guys, if you haven't already done so, you got to check out a guy on YouTube. JWP, what's up? What's up, Matthew? You got to check out a, another YouTuber that does shaving. His name is Chris, but his channel is The Geek of Shaves. I will put a link in the description box after the live stream so you can check him out. This dude has been beating everyone to the punch. One of the first to do a review of the Gillette heated razor. One of the first to talk about this product. What's up, Mickey? So this is a new, and in the backdrop, guys, I'm looking at, I've become a, a obsessed with The Hateful Eight, the Quentin Tarantino film with Samuel Jackson and uh, what's the other guy? Kurt Russell. Just a great, what's up, Nugget? Just a great um, film behind me. And I'm going to mute it just so I don't get into any copyright infringement issues. What's up, Esgar? What's up? But if you haven't already seen The Hateful Eight, guys, there's two versions on Netflix. What's up, AKZ? What's up? Two versions of this movie on Netflix. I highly recommend you watch the movie first. And then they're, they released it as like a, a season, sort of episodic four part um, with four episodes. So it's roughly just under four hours and it's a longer or an extended cut. If you like Quentin Tarantino, if you like dialogue and just interesting dialogue, the majority of this film takes place in a room, like a cabin, but the dialogue is just so on point and so interesting. And the time, it happens in Wyoming post-Civil War, so there's some interest there. And I would like to move myself over slightly <clears throat> so I can cut out some of that sun in the backdrop. But anyway, The Hateful Eight, great, great film. Check it out. House tour, house tour. What's up, bro? Bring back Twin Peaks. And my name is Spot. You digging the hydro? Yeah, the Schick Hydro is no joke, guys. If you're looking, I did a series, if you're looking to get away from Gillette, and I gave you five options, I believe it was five, five ways to beat Gillette, and the Schick Hydro series was up there. But anyway, for those of you who have just joined, I want to show you this. This is the Mach 3 3D. Safety razor or cartridge. Okay, since I do reviews, I got to do them all. But if I, if I really was just, if I stopped doing reviews today, other than the Gillette heated razor, I would go with the safety razor. What's up, Greg? TGIF to everybody. What's up, Fernando? What's up? I saw the film a release date. Yeah. Yeah, Kill Bill. I'm a big Tarantino fan, but I'm telling you, this, this film, for whatever reason, maybe because it takes place in Wyoming, so you do have a little, some stark, snowy nature scenes. I have, I have used Skin Guard. In fact, I'm going to be doing a, another Skin Guard review soon. So I have one. And it's done relatively well. Um, 
but I should do another one and follow up on it. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood was good too, but it was a, it was a movie without a point. Not that this has the greatest point, but this is, check it out. So getting back to the Razor, yes, this is the new Mach 3 that's, I believe, just been released, guys. And again, Geek of Shaves, I'm going to leave his link. Chris, is a, he's a cool dude. He does a lot of Razor reviews. And he was the first guy that showed this to me, or I saw it on his channel. So it's 3D. It has like a little ball here that allows you to twist it. It pivots side to side. So, you know. Not sure if it's just marketing hype. Because you know, guys, I'm a sucker for marketing. But I saw this and I was intrigued. Intrigued enough to order it on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description box for all the products in this show. So you can pick it up on Amazon. And it came in a little kit here. With four blades and the handle. Which is pretty cool. And this looks like the turbo handle. So this may... I mean, this looks like the turbo cartridge, guys. Mach 3. Yeah, I'll put the link in the description box below so you can pick this up. I believe you can only get it right now on Amazon and through Walmart. So you, you can purchase it at Walmart and have it shipped to a Walmart. I'm hoping that you people will order via the link I'm putting later in the, you know, after the stream. I'm going to put a link. If you want this, you order it through there, brah. You be helping you, you be helping me. Is it available in the UK? I, I'm not sure, but if you know of the Geek of Shaves, he has one in his little hot hand. So I'm not sure. All right. To yourself. All right, here we go. So another thing, and I'll get back to this because you never know when people cycle into the, to the stream. Another thing I've been hearing a lot about from folks. Yeah, once I put the link in, you guys, try it. Now, let's get back to this for a second. I'm thinking that there's so much hype. A lot of people are going, you know, the Mach 3 was the best. I thought I was the only one, guys. But everyone's thinking that when Gillette made the Mach 3, they should have just stopped. In fact, I'd love if they made a heated version of the Mach 3. Not a, not a whole separate kit and caboodle. I bought the heated razor. Give me the heated Mach 3 blade. I'm going to have to talk to Gillette and let them know. We want a heated version cartridge for the Mach 3. But I'm thinking that this is one of those tests. You know, they're doing a test. Like, there's a lot of interest and enthusiasm around the Mach 3, guys. Let's do a test. Yes, Mach 3, bring back Twin Peaks. You're right. Heated razor is expensive. Why? Because it costs a lot of money to make it. What's up, Sean? You know, in the beginning of a product cycle... There's a lot of research and development dollars, advertising dollars that go into making your first product. Then when people like me and you buy them and they start to make product in volume, B-Man, what's up? What's up, bruh? Mr. Lillo Tuxedo, love your channel, bruh. Thank you. And I love the fact that you come and watch the live stream today. TGIF. Let's have a drink to TGIF, by the way, guys. Push play. There we go. Nice green tea, unsweetened green tea, guys. Be man. All right. Another product that I've been hearing from lots of you shaving enthusiasts is this brand. Parezo. Parezo. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. While you're at work, I'm going to let them know. I still have my, in fact, B-Man is the fellow that sent me a bunch of uh, Excel and, and uh, sensor blades. In fact, I never have to go buy another 
Sensor XL or XL or Sensor Blade again because of B Man. Thank you, B Man. So I shipped out for this on Amazon. What's up, Hunter? Parezo, right? Parezo shave cream, and I'm all excited. Blame B Man. I'm all excited about this. So this will be coming up. Maybe I will pair these and do a Sunday shave with these two products. Or maybe I'll do a shave before Sunday. Keep pushing play. But I've been hearing from lots of you folks about this brand. And I know you want me to lather up, you know, work for it with the soap and the brush. One blade is great, bruh. But this Parezo, oh, it smells good. I like a foam. I like a good foam. All right, B-Man, go back to work, bro. You know you need to work because you need that Hemi. All right, so I'm going to be, I know, bro. But I didn't have lunch yet. So this is my lunchtime. <laughs> Birthday tomorrow for Sean. Happy birthday. All right, here we go. Here we go. You ready, guys? You ready? I'm going to have to do a happy birthday song for Sean. Maybe I'll do one tomorrow, Sean, and put it on the channel. Should we do it now? When I shaved, I saw the scent similar. All right, here we go. Everybody, on a, on a Friday for Sean. All right, happy birthday to you. I can't speed it up in live, though. So I'll have to do this for you tomorrow. Happy birthday to you, brah. Happy birthday, dear Sean. Happy birthday to you. Now this part of the movie is classic. Classic. They're in the stagecoach. Samuel L. has joined this threesome. And there's another... Um, I don't remember what the guy's name is, but there's another guy who's about to join. They're traveling from some wilderness in Wyoming to um, a haberdashery, a place that they can get out of the storm for a while. Please play him not to sing. <laughs> All right, we're going to keep moving right along, guys. So, Perezo. Perazzo, Perezo, you guys want me to work for it, and I'm going to work. I'm going to get, this year is going to be great, because last night I was on Amazon, and I have a list of like 100 products to review. Thanks, Sean. And I will post your happy birthday song tomorrow, bro. So I have all sorts of safety razors and creams and soaps and all kinds of stuff coming this year, right? But I'm going to work. And this is one of the things that I'm going to be using a lot. This is my favorite brush, guys. Mach 3 Vibrating Razor. Yeah, I have one of those. I have the sensitive vibrating. It's called Power. So this is a brush made by the fine folks at the FM Brush Company. It's called the Retro 3D. HIS Beauty Strokes Retro 3D Brush. And what I love about this brush, a couple of things, guys. And I'll be using this to do a lot of my lathering. You're going to force me to work. Favorite Gillette Razor Mach 3. Oh, no, heated razor. But if they put the heat on the Mach 3. All right, here we go. So here's, here's why I like this. Retro 3D. Now, I had a link on Amazon, and it sold out. But I know, boys, how you can get this razor. So if you want this razor after I give you a great uh, demo, or any time going forward, you got to let me know. I may just decide that this is the average guy razor, or average guy brush. Yes, I'll send you a link to the brush, the link is, is called The Average Guy. So you just gotta let me know and I get you some information on it. But here it is, it's a, a couple of things that make this distinct, distinctive. First of all, this is 
looks like badger hair, but it's synthetic badger hair. And why is this good? Well, it's synthetic, so it's not natural. No badger was hurt, one. But it looks, feels, and performs like badger hair, but it's actually superior to badger hair because it's not as, it's more sanitary, right? It's uh, antimicrobial, I guess is the term they would say. The handle itself is made of, I forget the, the uh, resin. So it's not wooden, it, but it's shiny. But it also uh, resists corrosion, it won't wear down. It's got this beautiful black finish, right? Now, it also is distinctive because if you can look at that, why it's called the 3D. This brush is made in Thailand. But, but, it's also manufactured by a company that's an American company, four generations strong. So anyway, it's got this two tier, two tiers of bristle. And if you turn it over, there's a pattern in there. And what I like about this brush, me and, being that I like to work up a nice lather and then I like my lather on thin, this first tier of bristles really allows you to put that on. Sort of like um, stippling, stippling, right? You can lather up real thick lather on the side if you'd like, it holds a lot of cream. But synthetic fibers don't need to be wet soaked, so you don't need to soak this prior to shaving, like a, a natural hair would. Dries quicker, right? Beautiful brush, feels good, <clears throat> performs. It's my favorite brush, and I will be working this year. But seriously, guys, if you like this brush, send me a comment or hook, hook up with me on Twitter, or Facebook, send me a DM and we'll hook up and I'll get you one of these brushes. Or at least I'll give you the information on how you can purchase a brush. All right? Shave oils. I mean, I've got it all. I, I, I'm going to be doing shave oils, soaps, lathers, pre-shave, after-shave, safety razors. J-Mac, what's up? So what prevents cuts and nicks while shaving your neck? It's prep. It's all in prep. This just became a shaving channel. It did. I'm also going to be doing some car stuff. All right. So J-Mac, to answer your question, I've found technique is one. But if you don't have good pre-shave, a good pre-shave routine, brah, you're just asking for trouble. What I like to do is either shave in the shower after you've opened up the pores and you've washed the face. If you can't do that and you like to shave in the mirror, you know, out of the shower, you want to warm up your face with some nice warm water. You want to wash it off with a nice scrub or a soap you enjoy. And then you want to go with a pre-shave oil. Little bit will do you. Pre-shave oil and you rub it right into the bristles. Make sure you get the bristles nice and coated and then after that, you want to wash it off. It's brisk, brisk. Not You don't want to take it all off. You want to just do some brisk rinse with warm water. You want to leave a little of that oil behind. And then you apply your soap or your cream or your lather. And that will help you. You're about to shave in a few, Sean. Sean's the man. So anyway, I showed you the brush. We're going to go for an hour today, guys. And this will be my routine. But um, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but if you haven't, you need to. Just recently did a Vikings Blade, my second Vikings Blade review. Because I said to you guys, I'm going to be doing DE shaving. And I promise and I'll deliver. So this is called the Emperor Augustus Adjustable DE Raver razor is Gillette Gillette foam Gillette foam mousse is my favorite Gillette foamy you know Barbasol I've used those when I was you know first shaving they're good 
it's really, it's about the technique. You can pretty much make anything work. I just don't, I personally do not like shaved butters. I don't like oily shaving creams. Yeah, all... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good That's a good soundtrack. I can't do it. Copyrighted music, bruh. What's up, Alex? So here it is. This is what I just did a review of. If you haven't seen it, guys, you got to look at it. Maybe I'll leave a link in the description box below. But this is an adjustable razor. And it's dual edge. And it truly is dual edge. Because you have a flat side. I don't know if you can see that, but that's flat. And you have a scalloped side with ridges. I don't know, and you probably can't see the difference. Maybe you can see it that way. Look, flat and scalloped. Is there a way to make this focus? There, there, there you go. Scalloped. You see this, the ridges? And the ridger, the ridges, the scallop side provides a more aggressive shave, and the flat side. It is like a Mercedes Benz. And the flat side provides a less aggressive, more mild shave. Butterfly opening. So there's your blade. Very, very nice. And it's getting jammed, which I read something about this. I read something about these getting jammed up. There you go. Oh, yes, yes. I know why it got jammed. There's a, there's a mechanism in here. If you don't seat the blade correctly, it will jam on you. Or it'll stop. Until you get it seated correctly. But I guess I've done a, a poor job seating that up. Because I'm not getting this to close. If I take it out, take it out, it closes right up. <sighs> Let's try this one more time. There we go. So there was something, some debris or hair or something that was preventing that from seating correctly. And that's good for you because you really need the blade to be seated correctly, all right? So this was, this. there's a couple of things about this, um, not only the flat side and the more aggressive side, but also the fact that you have this adjustment here. I don't know if you can see the adjustment ring, numbered ring, from one to three is a mild setting. Four to six is your aggressive, mid-aggressive setting. And then from eight to max, eight, nine, and max is your super aggressive setting. So that's pretty cool. It provided me with a great shave, guys. Great shave. Big hello, Flap Doc. What's up, Australia? Big hello back from New York. Love the shave. There's a couple of things about this I really, really like. I love the fact that you can uh, switch the setting to make it less or more aggressive, and I'll tell you why. When I first started... Mike! Vance! No, this is um, the Hateful Eight in the background. Bruh. All right. So, the first time I saw a shaving review of a double-edged razor, the gentleman started with a uh, mid-aggressive uh, razor and then for two passes and then went to a very mild razor to do the final pass. It's sort of like if you think about sandpaper grit, you, you have a more aggressive grit then a lesser aggressive grit and a really fine grit as your finishing pass. You could do that with this razor. First pass could be max, then medium, and so on. And provides a great shave. Also, very heavy. Lots of heft. Demir, what's up, bruh? 
Thanks for sponsoring the show today, Demir. Demir is the man from, where are you from? Czechoslovakia, Serbia. Where, Demir, where are you from? Because I've been watching you on Instagram, brah. And I will, Croatia. Do you play basketball? Because wasn't Tony Kukoc from Croatia? You remember him? What's up, Gustav? What's up? But I love this right here. Very nice. If you haven't already seen it, I'll put a link in the description box below if I remember and check it out. If not, do a search. It's my uh, Vikings Blade Emperor Augustus razor, and I'm loving it. Loving that, guys. Here's another thing that I saw, and I just had to get it because I'm sucker for marketing. Nate, Nate, Nadio? Natio products? No. Not that I know of, but I'm not sure. I'll look it up. This is the Gillette Mach 3, a special edition. I got this at Walmart. Comes with a little stand and a nice black heavy handle. So I'll be doing a shave with that. They got me, guys. Just the sucker for marketing. I wish I could put the big sucker for marketing placard up. But this will be an upcoming shave. Just sort of a change, change the pace because I really do like the Mach 3. I've been looking online at uh, handles specifically designed to give some more heft to your Mach 3. Nivea for men. B-Man likes Nivea for men. They make good products. So anyway, that's upcoming, guys. And I think that's about it for the upcoming stuff. I'm going to be doing more of the Gillette heated razor. Now, if you guys have just come in, and you don't know what's going on behind me. Schick bought, they tried to buy Harry's is what I was told that that was turned down by the Federal Trade Commission. L'Oreal Paris men's shave gel, never, never saw that. So Gustav, I would say that there's a slightly better performance in the turbo. You don't need to update your handle. You can just get the turbo blades the next time you're, you know, you're ready. And you can take a look, you know, I did a turp Mach 3 versus Mach 3 turbo video. I may have done a series of them. Slight difference. Have you? I don't get what you said, bruh. Salad, salad. So cheers to you, bruh. I'll take notes of everything you put down. Sensor XL some days. The sensor. Hang on, guys. Hang on. Oh, I gotta join it. I gotta join a call. I have to get back to you guys. I'll be back. I have to join a call. I forgot. I totally forgot about it. Have a good day if I don't see you, but I'll see you later, guys.